Welcome back to ABC 7 at 4. Despite the constantly growing number of new active cases of COVID-19 nationwide and warnings from the CDC, there are still people who are planning to travel for the Christmas holidays. But a woman who led evaluation of the nation's largest research program on pandemic planning says, if you are going to visit, make it a safe visit. And she's created an app to help you do just that. Joining me now to talk about the COVID the Safe Visit app is the creator, April Armstrong. April, thank you for coming on the show today. Well, thank you. And you know, that's right. We just hit as a country one of our deadliest weeks yet with COVID-19 and the holidays. Many of them are, you know, still ahead. And as public health officials are urging Americans to stay home, 46% of Americans told uh, you.gov that they are planning to visit. Public health officials, of course, urge that those be small visits under 10 people. But a key question is, how do you keep even small visits safe? That's exactly why, as you said, I developed the COVID Safe Visits app, because if you're going to visit, by, of, of course, staying home is by far your safest bet. But if you're going to visit, you need to avoid three deadly mistakes. And the COVID Safe Visits app, which is totally free, can help you do that. All right. So tell folks what is in the app and what they need to do. So, you know, deadly mistake number one is assuming it's safe to visit with someone just because they tested negative for coronavirus. And, you know, you can accurately test negative today, but depending on your behaviors, you could get exposed tomorrow and be infectious by early next week when you're walking in the door to that family gathering with your great aunt Sally. When it comes to visiting with other people, you need to trust behaviors, not tests. And that's one of the great things about the COVID Safe Visits app is that it screens for behaviors. Deadly mistake number two is not asking specific enough questions, not screening people around key risk areas with coronavirus before you visit with them. Well, you know, too often people are assuming that their friends and their family are being pretty careful and, you know, I think they're pretty safe, but that could be a deadly mistake. And you don't interrogating people, but you do need to screen for specific risk areas if you want to stay safe during even a small visit, such as have you been within six feet of anybody else without a mask in the last 14 days? What is the test positivity rate in your state? Have you had any concerning symptoms? And you need to ask specific questions about those symptoms. And the COVID Safe Visits app makes that easy because it takes less than 60 seconds. It takes the thinking out of it. You just answer some quick questions and it's going to give you a risk, a risk score that you, know, you can share with each other basically. And you could be shocked to discover that someone you would be certain is low risk to visit with is in fact high risk to visit with. And you don't want them in your house after all. Deadly mistake number three is not agreeing in advance on the specific COVID safe behaviors that everybody will agree to follow and honor during the visit. You need to have open and transparent conversations before you visit with people about the specific protocols that you'll all agree to follow and honor. And the COVID Safe Visits app makes this easy to do in a low key way that feels, you know, non judgy because you just fill it out and you can share your profiles with each other and then talk openly about what would make sense for your group and your visit in terms of specific protocols. You know, doctors, off, doctors' offices, workplaces, and even some restaurants are screening you for safety before they let you come into their space. And with the COVID Safe Visits app, the everyday person now can also screen for safety. And you'll find that app on www.livecovidsafe.com. We will have a link to that website in this story later on on kvia.com. April Armstrong, thanks so much for coming on. Thank you, Mark. It's fast, it's free, and it's the first of its kind to help people make risk-informed decisions and ensure safe visits this holiday. Thank oh, you. Thank you.